てセーラーネプチューン優雅に活躍、えー、ラブバージお待たせはるかずいぶん仲良くなったのねなんだよ焼いてんの<笑>そうかも感じるわまた海が荒れようとしてるやっぱりこの町は要注意ねダメよ騙されちゃみちるその人は可愛い子を見るとすぐそういうことを言うんだからおいそりゃないだろうあらいいのかしら私にそんなこと言って差し入れ持って帰っちゃおうかな一度会ってるわよねよろしくあはああの同級生ってはるかさんたちはいくつなんですか高校1年生です高一ってじゃあ車の運転なんかしていいんですかいいんですかえっとねか海外でライセンスを取ったんだですってなぜスピードを緩めたりするのかしら私に花を持たせたつもり私は別に友達になりたかっただけだぜ彼女自分に自信が持てないタイプだから無意識に争いを避けたんだそれなのにいじめて私は力いっぱい勝負しましょうって言おうとしただけなのに<笑>もうでもこのままじゃあの子かわいそうね水野亜美さん来てくださったのねそれともはるかが無理を言ったのかしら私が自分の意思で来ましたさっきのことで気を悪くさせたのなら謝りますそれとも私をからかってるんですか勝負をやり直したいだけよ受けてくださるわねどう力いっぱい勝負するのも悪くないでしょモトクロスレースに情熱を燃やしていてねとっても純粋な人なのよ彼はピュアな心の結晶を持っているタイプねマークしてみる必要ありそうだな私に任せて恋人の誕生日を忘れるなんて随分ね守るさんったらまたはるかはウラス助けてあげなくていいのひょっとしたらあの子こそタリスマンの持ち主かもしれないだろうそうあなたの顔にはもしそうだったらどうしようって書いてあるわよあなた汗一つかいてないのねかなり力を抑えてるんじゃなくてどういうことあなた風の騒ぐ声が聞こえるんじゃないお気に召したかしら今夜はようこそおいでくださいました天才レーサー天王はるかさん随分詳しく僕のことを知ってるんだなこれ君が書いたのかいあなたって有名よね私の学校にもあなたのフリークがたくさんいるわその子女の子のくせにあなたの車で海岸をドライブしてみたいんですって<笑>世界の終末か虫一匹殺せないようなお嬢様がよくこんな恐ろしい空想画を描けるもんだ空想じゃないわ私にはそれがはっきり見えるのあなたと同じようにね勝手なこと言わないで私だってごめんだわ私にだってバイオリニストになるって夢があるんだ世界を破滅から救うなんてバカバカしいことやってられないわそれを手にしちゃダメ一度手にしたらもう二度と普通の生活に戻れない沈黙が迫ってるこうしなければさらに多くの犠牲者が出るわだから手段を選ばないというのかそうよ私は手段を選ばない殺していたかもしれないうん次はきっと殺すわ平気なわけじゃないのでも私は戦士だからこれを選んじゃったからだったらどうして僕をかばったりするんだよ手を怪我したらバイオリニストになれないじゃないか私はあなたがもう一人の戦士だからあなたのことを調べたんじゃないわあなたがその人だとわかるずっと前からよあなたが初めてレースに出た時も私近くで見ていたわ一度でいいからあなたの車で海辺を走ってみたかったなあなたは誰にも甘えない人そしていつも自分の気持ちに素直な人僕は素直なんかじゃない逃げたばかりだ私はあなたのことをあなたよりよく知ってるのだってずっと見てたんだものあなたにだけは私と同じ道を歩んでほしくないのただあなたがその人だと分かった時
私嬉しかったなご,ごめんねこんなことを話すつもりなかったのにごめんねネプチューンプラネットパワーレイクアウト海の星海王星を死後に持つ深海の戦士セーラーネプチューンディープサブマージ海王丸おはようそろそろ彼を迎えに行かなくちゃ遅刻するわあなたとても気高い目の色をしている前世は王子様かしらどうしてそんなことがわかるわけこれは前世を映す鏡なのよごめんなさい変なこと言って気を悪くしないでねさよなら怖いもの知らずなのねこんなところに来るなんて危険だわいつか身を滅ぼすわよ鏡占いをしようとしたら邪魔が入って鏡が曇ったのでもすぐ吹き消したわそれを承知で始めたことよはるか運命の歯車は回り始めてしまったの新たな覚醒はやがてすぐに訪れる三つのタリスマンを揃えるしかないのよ<笑>チビウサギちゃんとホタルちゃんはお友達なのお守りお姉さんはそういうの持ってる私はこの手鏡がお守りかな<笑>だけどそんな可愛らしいものじゃないわねこれはタリスマンというのよ<笑>目覚めてしまったのもしもこの子が一りぼっちなら私たちで育てましょう私たち三人が親になって小さなプリンセスあなたが大好きだったわ必ずまたあなた方のもとへ帰ってくるわ約束の印よその鏡にたくさんあなたを映していつか会う時までにもっともっと強い戦士になってスモールレディー。You sure made friends with them fast. What's the matter, Michelle? Are you jealous? <laughs> well, they sure liked you. I had a feeling about this town, Amara. The sea's acting up. I think something big's gonna happen here. I just don't know if it's good or bad. Here you go again, Amara, giving love advice. Hey, Michelle. Amara's got this thing about people living happily ever after. And there's nothing wrong with it either. Except that it only happens in fairy tales. If you ask me, anyone waiting for Prince Charming is not living in reality. It's nice to finally meet you, officially. You too. What year, what year of high school are you guys in anyway? Third or fourth? Oh, well, I'm only a first year student. You playing me? How come you guys already have your driver's license in a car? Amara's the right age. Uh, yeah, my license. I got it because I'm older and we lived overseas. Right. How'd you guys meet then? We're cousins. We grew up together. Why did you feel you had to slow down? Huh? Is it because you were afraid of hurting my ego? Oh. Uh-oh. You made her upset. I didn't mean to. She just wanted to make friends with you. I'm sure she didn't slow down on purpose. It was just a subconscious reaction to avoid confrontation. I didn't mean to start a fight with her. I just wanted a genuine race with a good swimmer. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, anyway, I feel badly, and I'd like to do something. You're here, Amy. I'm glad you couldn't make it. I hope my cousin Amara didn't force you. Not at all. I'm quite happy to be here. Listen, I'm really sorry if I offended you earlier on today. I didn't mean to slow down. It just kind of happened. It's okay. I just like an honest race. You still want to race me, don't you? See? 
It's not so bad giving it all you got, is it? He's a dude who's passionate about motocross, isn't he? Passion usually comes from a pure heart, wouldn't you say? Is that so? He's exactly the type who's supposed to have a pure heart and powers. We should make sure we watch him closely then. Leave it to me, cuz. That's too bad, Serena. Some boyfriends are really insensitive, but I didn't think Darian was one of them. She's just teasing. Hmm. Uranus, are you going to help her? No, we should wait and see. She may be the one who possesses the pure heart crystal we're looking for. Oh, I hope she isn't. That's the trouble with this mission. How can we take crystals from people we like? I guess you could say that, Elsa. Although I don't think Amara appreciates where she comes from. <laughs> That's nonsense. Maybe it is. But then why are you always running from it? Your destiny huh? is set. Your past and future mm. are forever intertwined, and nothing mm. in the world will change that whether you accept it or not. Do you like it, Amara? Thanks for coming, by the way. I know you're busy training for the Grand Prix. I thought it was important. I know that we have really grown apart, and I know it's mostly my fault. I know you have a lot on your mind lately, and it must be hard to keep your head on straight when you're everyone's sports idol. You know, I mean, you're the high school superstar everybody's talking about. <laughs> well, riddle me this, Batman. How can you paint such bleak pictures when you're always Miss Blue Skies? And why do you always paint water? It's like you're obsessed with it. There's more to me than meets the eye. Just like you're more than a top athlete. I know why you always do things that involve speed, Amara, but you can't always run scared. We are who we are. Oh, you're not the only one, Amara. My dream has always been to play the violin and be able to paint to my heart's content, but that's all over. I've got a greater job to do, and part of that is to help change the future. That's what you're running away from, isn't it? But you can't, Amara. We need you. Don't! Uh. 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 That's your fate, Amara. Once you touch that stick, your life as you know it will be changed forever and all time. Amara, you don't understand. With the forces we're dealing with, it's all or nothing. But what about the innocent victims? Trust me, this is the only way to handle it. They usually are. Huh? As long as we beat them in time. <sighs> I'll never get used to it, though. It's hard, knowing how much depends on my success and planet power. Then why didn't you want me to pick up the stick before? You need my help, Michelle. No one can keep fighting like this alone. Because I don't want to be the one to end your journey, your race to escape your destiny. If you're going to accept this life, then it has to be your choice. Truth is, you do have a choice. You can leave that stick untouched, and it won't be offered to you again. You'll be free to do whatever you want. Mm. You can fulfill your dream to race cars, Amara, but it won't have to be because you're running away anymore. I'm always running away, though. I've been really selfish. You weren't being selfish. You were just following your heart. A heart that's pure and good inside. And I can't think of anyone I'd rather face all this with than with family. Deep down, even though it's really tough sometimes, I was so glad when I found out uh, that you were Sailor Uranus, my long-lost partner. I know it's a big decision, so I just had to tell you everything. Also answering the call from a new era, Sailor Neptune, here to fight with elegance. Sorry to keep you waiting, Haruka. You seem to have become quite friendly with those girls. Wait, you're not jealous, are you? Maybe I am. I sense rough seas are coming our way once again. We need to be on our guard while we're here. But I know, so don't be fooled. Michiru. That's a line that Haruka loves to use to string along all the cute girls. Hey, that's not true. Okay, if you say so. But while you're enjoying all their attention, I'm going to take these desserts home and eat them myself. I think you and I have met before. At the arcade? Uh, yeah. By the way, please don't take this wrong, but how old are the two of you? We started high school a few weeks ago. Started high school? But I thought you had to be older than that to legally drive a car! Oh, is that right? Mm. Oh, yeah, well, I was able to get a license while I was living overseas. Huh. So she says. So why did you suddenly slow down? Uh... Did you think I wouldn't be able to keep up with you? I wasn't trying to. You accused her of throwing the race. 
All she wanted was to be your friend. She doesn't have the confidence for a real confrontation. But you just had to be mean. I only meant that she should always give it her best and not worry about offending anyone. <laughs> oh. Well, now I feel really bad. I didn't mean to upset her. Did you come of your own free will, Ami? Or did Haruka have to force you? Of course not. Haruka didn't make me come back. And I'm sorry, but I really didn't mean to make you upset earlier. So now, were you joking or do you really want a rematch? I want you to try and beat me this time. I don't want you to hold back. It feels pretty good to go out there and not be afraid to give it your all, huh? He's extremely passionate about motocross racing, but also believes in a fair competition. Just the exact type of person who would have a pure heart crystal. Then we should definitely keep an eye on him. I'll take care of that. I think it's terrible of him to forget your birthday. If it were me, I'd get rid of a boyfriend like that. Knock it off, Haruka. <sighs> Uranus, we should save her. But what if her heart crystal really does have the talisman? Then what are we gonna do? Well, knowing how you feel about her, I guess you would have a problem doing anything that would harm her. You haven't broken a sweat. You must have really been holding back. Perhaps something else was in control. What are you saying? Perhaps you heard a voice in the wind that propelled you. Would you model for one of my sketches? Do you like that piece? You know, I really appreciate your taking time away from your racing to be here tonight. Hmm. Did you paint this? You're quite famous these days. Actually, I know a couple of girls at my school who are obsessed with you. From what I've heard, one of them would love to ride in your car with the wind blowing through her hair as you race along the sea. <laughs> so this is the end of the world, huh? I'm surprised that a girl who looks like she couldn't kill a bug would spend her free time painting these depressing fantasies. It's not a fantasy. In fact, I can see this vision very clearly. Just like you can. You have no right to judge me. I don't want to have to do this either. My dream was to be a great violinist and travel the world performing. Saving the world from complete destruction was the furthest thing from my mind. Don't! You must not touch that. If you do, your life will be changed forever. Your dreams unfulfilled. You'll become like me. The silence is coming. If I don't do what needs to be done, there'll be more casualties. You're saying the end justifies the means? That's right. That's exactly what I'm saying. I could have killed that child. Who knows what will happen the next time? I don't want to make those decisions, but I'm a sailor guardian, and this is the choice that I've made. Why did you put your life on the line to protect me? If you had gotten more injured, you would never be able to play the violin again. You should know. I've been interested in you for a long time, and not just because you might be a guardian. When you entered your first race, I was there watching. I'm the girl who wants to feel the wind blowing through her hair as she rides beside you. You see, I feel like I already know you. I love that you have an independent spirit, and that you're completely honest and say exactly what you feel. I'm not as honest as you think. I'm always running away. I believe I know you better than you know yourself, Haruka. That's why I stopped you earlier. This path was forced upon me, and I hate seeing it forced on you as well. Haruka, when I found out that you were my destined partner, it made me so very happy. <laughs> Forgive me. I wish you didn't have to find out any of this. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs>